Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds, where we find ourselves surrounded by canicated ferals. And I'm now more convinced than ever that uh, every time, like the the bodies stay, the the characters stay dead, but their inventories refill themselves. Um, because I'm pretty sure I looted everybody. Either way, um. We've found ourselves placed with a choice. Um, do we help the deserters and shut down the power to Edgewater, or do we help the town of Edgewater and by direct by uh, direct action help uh, the Spacer's Choice family? Or maybe I just didn't loot those. I don't know. Um... And, uh, turn off the power to the geothermal plant. That is the question. But first, I'm going to go to the geothermal plant, because I do have a side quest there, related to a robot's logic chip. Supposedly, there are robots running around this place. Robots. Truly the worst kind of people. Hmm. Huh. Hold up. Um, can I... Oh, I need a workbench to do those things. I, I didn't bother uh, using a workbench to attach the modification. Um, but let us try... Uh, this uh, energy gun. Just to see how it goes. I don't trust this giant grid. Is he just going to go through the electrical grid and then not be damaged at all, probably? Because he's a robot? Oh. The wall is just open here. Okay, keep him quiet. I wonder, does Parvati have any specific abilities that would help her out in uh, any way in regards to fighting robots? Actually, can we replace her armor with something better? Yes, we can, but it. It doesn't help her text. No, oh, it does. Never mind. Also, I uh, modified the game so that uh, I change. I chose the option to remove people's helmets so that I could see everybody's pretty faces. Um, let's see. Ability is overload. Oh. Pravati, what are you doing all the way over there? Like, at least have some discretion. That's the last of them. Excellent. Can I turn this off? Do I really need to? No, I don't. Grab some armor parts. Grab some more armor parts. Um, I've been scrapping more stuff lately, um, rather than trying to... S like, I sold my initial batch of stuff uh, to a, hmm, a scientist, uh, to a vending machine, and I sold some other stuff to other people, but I realized you don't make that much money selling this stuff. Oh, hello. Okay. 
Ah. I did upgrade, uh, I did spend some skill points, uh, in between yesterday and today. More specifically, um, I have the ability, I raised my leadership ability, so now I can actually have characters, uh, target things with their abilities. Um, and I also, let me rephrase that. Um, I can now command Parvati to use an ability on an enemy. That makes more sense in my head. Um, and, uh, now when I go into slow motion and shoot things, it has different effects depending on what I hit. Which, again, it's an, it's an interest, it's a good extension of the inspiration, of the inspired source material, without having to resort to using vats. Which... Vats is kind of more or less a crutch of a gameplay system, more than anything else. Especially, well, at the very least, in a first-person uh, environment. If we're talking about the original Fallout material, um, that's like it's just it's just uh, how you play a turn-based game. Uh, the conversion of Vats uh, over to a first-person real-time game. Um, more or less is just a crutch for the system. Uh, especially since the system has, like, uh, uh, what's it called? Bethesda's never been particularly good at making a very fundamental shooter. It's kind of like if you look at Mass Effect 1 versus Mass Effect 2, though. Like, Mass Effect 1, like, they, they didn't really focus on making a shooter, they focused on making an RPG. And then they were like, oh wait, shooting mechanics. And then Mass Effect 2, they focused on the shooting mechanics and then added some light RPG elements. And with, like, when you go for, like, Oblivion and Skyrim, from, uh, I'm not even including Morrowind at this point. Um, but the the sh the actual gameplay has always been more or less passable. Like Skyrim improved upon it, uh, Fallout Four improved upon it. But this is definitely better. Uh, this definitely has better shooting mechanics within it. The, the room should be off to the right. taste of freedom. Right now with extra added artificial ingredients at no. Extra cost. Okay, I'm gonna sell some stuff, so one second. All right, sold some stuff. Now, oh, hello. Let's switch to that. Oh, yeah, let's switch to that. Get back here. Yeah. The stun baton. That makes sense against robots, I think. There we go. Take that, Sprat. Optional Geothermal Security Chief's Key Card. Huh. That's a little bit more complicated than I was expecting. Oh. 
Okay, this might actually be really easy. Chester Higgins again, that hull head, found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple days from now and feeling bad for what I've done, let me just remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. Doesn't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto-mechanicals. At this rate, I'm gonna end up a chief of security with no staff. Just a small army of mechanicals knocking about guns pointed every which way. Company tells us they're safe, programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an auto-mechanical never will. I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me. But the company's never been wrong before, I suppose. Wow, that's, um, they've been wrong on a lot of things. Well, the worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here, just trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. Greetings, Security Chief Tanaka. This is an automated in message initiated by Spacer's Choice. Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. A security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations engendered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of Zero-G Brew. Zero-G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, did that work? Hmm. Also, there seem to be a lot of robots in here. System. I wish I was able to see its health while I was bashing it about the face. Ooh, hold on. What have we here? Energy cells, light ammo. I appreciate the fact that I don't have to carry around uh, dozens of different types of ammo in this game. Hold on. What, uh, what was that modification? Oh, I already have it. I had picked up one from the quest, and now I was just found one here. All right. Uh, let's save our game, because it's been a couple minutes. Oh, hello. Yes, that was just the wind. Unexpected. Incoming. Oh, where did the area system alert? Where did where did he go? Processing. Beginning security patrol. Hmm. Oh, hello. Everyone all right? There we go. Now, like, even if even if I don't uh, shut down this plant, um, just running around the place is providing a good amount of ooh. of experience.
as any robot in the bathroom. As Ludwig knows, there's no reason any robot would need the bathroom. Um, let's see, what were our inventory is pretty good. Um, what was that? Ride control is just a four. Yeah, this plant worker did not make it. Where am I actually going? I have to go up top there. All right. Self-diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. Oh, you made it out of the junkyard. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. Uh, why aren't you attacking me? Hostile actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion, all hostile auto-mechanicals must be... Defective in compliance with Spacer's Choice policy. All defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. Let me get this straight. You want me to help you, uh, you want to help me destroy other mechanicals? Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. <laughs> Mechanicide? Okay. I like the sound of it. Get it done. Mechanicide. Okay. Let's pick up some of this stuff. What do we have here? A bypass shunt. Borrowed a copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume three. I need something to read down in the pit. Much obliged. Corporate just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete refit of our mechanicals. Every sentry and drone. It's not my place to say so, but doesn't this run contrary to the Spacer's Choice mission of being as cheap as possible? Just in case I'm audited, I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be part of the Spacer's Choice family. Spacer's Choice is the leading brand in affordable sundry class Halcyon. It's not the best choice, it's the Spacer's Choice. Just finished a routine maintenance on our mechanical sentries. I found some strange modifications to their logic modules. I haven't had time to run a diagnostic, so I don't know what's been modified. All I know is that these modifications were introduced in our recent refit. Company went through the trouble of refitting every single mechanical in the plant not long ago. Guessing this was the work of those visiting technicians. I filed a report, but my supervisor told me not to worry about it. Said the company knew what it was doing. Ordered me to forget about any alleged modifications to the logic modules. Decided to do a bit of sleuthing by my own self. Got my hands on a logic module. Time to do a little experimentation. Alright, so that's why he actually had the logic module in the first place. Um, although... I find myself wondering... Were the technicians there as part of the plan? Oh, hello. A flywheel. Fun science fact. If you have ever wondered why it is so hard to push over a functioning auto mechanical, but it is easy to tip over a non-functioning one, this little device is the reason. Take this, Sprat! Oh, wow, what on earth is that? This card belonged to the security chief. How heavy is that? Not particularly heavy. How good is it? Actually, I think I might try that out because it does do a lot of damage. 
hacking skill too low. Optional Chester's passcode. I have to say, um, I approve of the fact that uh, the game is kind enough to tell you what you need to succeed. Oh yeah, I did go downstairs. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, like, it tells you what passcode you need to collect first. Alright. Pick up some weapons parts, some adrenatime, a corrupted logic module. Another light machine gun. All right, uh, Pravati, uh, what are your thoughts on some an upgrade? Oh, yeah. All right, so we got the logic module. Um, what is the journal telling us to do? Oh, just leave. Okay. So let us get out of here and head back to uh, Ludwig. Turn in this logic module. All right, Ludwig, I have brought you a gift. A corrupted logic module, the brain of a mechanical. Bring us honor, soldier. Uh, you mentioned a logic module. I found one in the geothermal plant. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble and a little something to remember me by. Ah, uh, another shock stick. And thusly, the end of that quest chain. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, now that that is done, let us head back into the geothermal plant, because that is apparently where we need to go. For some reason, I got it into my head that uh, you would have different quests in different directions, depending on the choice you make. But. Hmm. Shall I try to hack it? Do I need anything from here? Probably not. Let's hack it. Ooh, disarm security fences. Uh, view recent logs. Security logs inaccessible. Uh, in keeping with Spacer's Choice Company policy, all security logs have been terminated in the event of a major emergency, catastrophic event, or security breach. So basically, if something bad happens, um, just delete it. Good. Uh, scheduled security updates at this facility are overdue. Your last scheduled security update occurred at an error not found, date not found. If you are a member of the Securities Choice Security DL assigned to this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Failure to do so may result in an immediate reprimand. Oof. Wow. Spacer's Choice Corporation Service Award. What was this award for? Most unused pay, uh, time off? Greatest amount of coffee drunk in one break? Fewest bathroom rests? You will never know. <laughs> so... So yeah, the Spacer's Choice uh, group of family of corporations is definitely the worst. Is there anything else for me to explore out here? Nope, that building is... Oh, hello. Splash resistant, eh? Um... This Spacer's Choice Laboratory outfit is designed mostly to resist stains, but it might, incidentally, resist damage. Oof. Let's break that down. 
It might. It's that's like two steps away from uh, the Simpsons episode where Doctor Nick um, is selling uh, diet books at the book fair, and uh, Marge is like, "I could eat all I want and lose weight," and Doctor Nick is like, "Sure, it's a free country." Ooh, another stun baton. Gotta say, I like the multiple entrance. Just because I saw, like, I went in the first entrance I saw. But, I could have also gone underneath there. I, I had choices. And that's always good. That is something that I feel is... was strongest about Fallout New Vegas. And Obsidian is definitely showcasing that in this game. Um, one of the big issues between like Bethesda's design philosophy and Obsidian's design philosophy is Bethesda tends to design games where you have one solution to a given problem, and Obsidian designs games where you have multiple solutions to a given problem. Which it's it both design uh, both elements of design are fine, but. When you're crafting an open world experience, it all it definitely in, helps enable player choice by um, giving you those extra choices. Uh, it, it make it helps enable player freedom by giving you those extra choices. Even if you don't necessarily notice them all, even if you don't, your character doesn't necessarily have the skill to use them all. This letter serves as an informal notification of our company's displeasure toward your management of the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget in your latest quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to dismiss immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official reprimand. The Spacer's Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spacer's Choice is not a right, but a privilege. Every time I read another thing from Spacer's Choice, it is it is impressive how terrible that company is. To the esteemed members of the Emerald Vale Development Oversight Committee, I hope this letter finds you wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who are unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. I would like to remind the Oversight Committee that while most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production output quotas, particularly our agriculture and fishing can canning departments, neither of which are anywhere to close to profitable, the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-efficient power to the entire region. Yeah, and then that's the thing. When you, when you have such a hostile work environment, it leads to people just throwing each other under the bus. Uh, we have invested the claims... Ag made against the profitability of the greater Emerald Vale region. Our offices agree with you. Agriculture and fishing canning have experienced a steady decline, while the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains somewhat profitable. Our offices are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost-saving measures, which will ultimately lead to a leaner, more streamlined, more efficient geothermal plant. Please be informed that the Space of Choice Development Oversight Office has taken a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. The office would like to assure you that this insurance policy is a standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise extrapolate meaning from this decision. As a special courtesy, we have deployed a proprietary team of engineering specialists to the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. This team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals free of charge. Thank you for your cooperation. They took out a insurance claim on the geothermal plant before they upgraded the auto mechanicals. And their and their comment about that? Oh, let's not just let's not talk about it. Just don't think about it. 
Don't even consider what it means. So maybe I'm giving them too much credit. Oh, okay. So this is where I go to the divert power. What is that other stuff? When life gives you lemons, consider it a free trial from your friends at Space. Here's choice. Emerald Veil Geothermal Plant operating at 22% efficiency. Huh. Is there a version of this story in which everybody wins? Let's uh, let's keep exploring the plant because there was more stuff to do. There was more places to go. Mind your head. Oh, nope. Model spaceship. Oh, I didn't look at the model spaceship. This model, made of metal and wood and a generous amount of pungent resin, is perfect for a collector or just a child who dreams of adventures among the stars. Imagination not included. A worker's outfit. This light work gear suffices for any and all light grade three tasks. Who else would make this but Spacer's Choice? Oh, hold on. It seems like a waste of picks, but I've got... Ooh. Marauder armor, bit cartridge... All right. What are bit cartridges used for? Am I just confused on that matter? I'll have to check that out later. The next time I find some bit cartridges uh, to look at that. Oh, hello. Be very, very... Oh, it's the repaired one. Never mind. Keep up the good work, sir. I believe in you. Oh, yeah. Higgins was the one investigating the, uh... The logic modules. Apparently, he's still alive. Maybe insane? No, 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 just leave me alone. I will not. Ah. You're liable to get scalded. You know, they were talking about uh, structure damage. Um, where is that coming from? Oh, never mind. Good job, Pravati. Can I... Let's save our game and let's see if we can, um... Like, walk up to it and, uh, it doesn't seem like we can select anything. Ooh! Engineering 20, shut off steam release valves. I can do that. A workbench. Fantastic. Oh, so I probably don't need to... to go through that door then. Um, so that is saving some... Let's see if uh, I can do stuff with the workbench. 
Yeah, right, let's mess around with that later. Uh, for now, though, let us carry on. See what else we can do. I feel as though, like, these things I'm doing are fixing the plant. And this might actually do something different. Oh, hello. A combat drone. Get back here, combat drone. Excellent. Oh, where did... There we go. Damn it, there was a bit cartridge in there. I need to, to pause a little bit before we can pick stuff up. And uh, remember that I want to... Here we go. Uh, bits are an electronic currency. Okay, it's, a, it's the money in the game. I just forgot that the bits are referred to are the money. And what we have here, we have nothing. What is this? Facial mask skin cream. If it's made by spatial uh spacer's choice, it's probably terrible. Using anti-Cleo's acidic facial cream will clear those clogged pores, moisturize that dry skin, and leave you feeling fresh and tingling. Do not operate heavy machinery for two hours after application of cream. Acid-based? Acid-based skin cream? That seems awfully suspect. Ooh. All right, all right. Um, I don't know where these doors go. Do I get an internal map? I get an internal map. Amazing. I say that as important because as somebody who's been playing Fallout 76, you don't get an internal map. And... It's very easy to get lost within structures. Have I been here? Ah, oh, yes. Okay. I see now where things connect. Uh, let us go back down and head one level deeper. Uh, see if we can... Mm, see if we can talk to Higgins. Yeah, I am pretty sure that is the spacer's choice that is directly responsible for every death that happened in this plant. But then that's the thing. They don't look at the individual uh, people. Yeah, let's, uh, let... The game might be on to something. Let's say. No, 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 just leave me alone. Like, they just look at uh, the gears of a machine, like Parvati said. Anything over here? Ah, uh, just some bits. I think I get more bits just exploring places than selling things. But I think that might also be the point. Yeah, I wonder how long Higgins has been down here. Ooh, an impact hammer. No, 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 just leave me alone. Anti Higgs antibiotics cream. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Um. I wasn't trying to startle you. Most people don't see me coming, says any of the robots who I snuck in on this. Uh, Most people? 
but I'm the only one left. No, remember your first rule, Higgins. No arguing with the phantoms. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Oh, has he been, uh... You're eating sprats? Of course. Sprats are an excellent source for my daily recommended intake of mercury. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Um, does Higgins refer to himself in the third person? What do you what do you do here? Many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Um, you were the engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Um, if you know, if you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. I can deal with the mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. <laughs> I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Oh. Uh, mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. Well, enough in order to get room. by, you know? You should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, oh that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Does it really matter now? Um, because I've destroyed most of the auto mechanicals. He said it was in the neighboring room. Didn't he? Oh wait, there was the room that required uh, Chester's passcode. A collectible tossball card. Guthrie is the fastest winger, and the Tiger is often covering three day zones at once? What does that mean? Oh, here we go. Um, the automatic handle, uh, control terminal. Modify behavior. Hmm. No new mode. Select new target. Define intruders. Define intruders as spacer's choice auto mechanicals. I suppose it's it's probably not that important for me to worry about that right now. Um, especially since I've probably destroyed all of the auto mechanicals. Uh, so now I suppose let, let's do the only thing left to do. And divert that power. Once we do this, there's no going back. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see if, um... Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Yes. Uh, but I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just... They don't deserve to be punished, but Spacer's Choice is going to punish them nonetheless.
Hmm. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Reed tells me Edgewater is going to die without workers and power. The deserters are community. Let, let's see what, uh, if I say that one. That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. Are you happy? In Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. But the deserters are a community. I can't just destroy what they built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. Uh, those are four she things that Spacer's life. Choice does not offer. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Oof. Why do you have to make this complicated? Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Don't worry about it. I was barely listening. I'm glad you did. I like hearing for you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Yeah, normally they say things like, I hear from you like. And then Pravati's like, oh, uh, she had no idea what she had, the person actually said, but... But she approves of that message nonetheless. Did I change? It's okay, it's still running at 22% efficiency. Safety failure is detected. High likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. Are you sure you want to continue? Hmm. Do I want to redirect the power to Edgewater? Or do I want to redirect the power to Botanical Laboratory? And that's, I suppose, the, the question. <sighs> All right, so I looked ahead as to what happens, whether depending on what you actually do. Um, I am going to redirect the power to Edgewater. I feel as though that opens up a couple more options, whereas the Botanical Laboratory forces you into combat, which I want to avoid. So let us redirect power. It also makes uh, Parvati happy. Which is, I suppose, what we're going to deal with for now. Or should I say what we're going to deal with next time? Because... We're going to be stopping here for the night. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.